All right, Nick here. We're going to cover um, the recovery of Astra uh, 675X series phones. Here I've got a 6757, um, which the problem here, hit options. Um, and when you scroll down to the administrator menu, it's going to ask you for a password. The classic Astra uh, standard password is five twos. And as you can see, that does not work. So if you want to get your own config in here, you're going to need to uh, reset this in some way. So f this uh, method would be used, for instance, uh, when you know your phone is not pulling a config file from the server. For example, these phones, for whatever reason, static IP, and they're not sending out any TFTP requests um, for config when uh, they boot up. So basically, we have to go with the full recovery. Um, so there are several things you need to do. Uh, first, you need to reboot the phone into recovery. So you simply unplug it and plug it back in again. Uh, hold down one and pound while it boots. It will go into recovery. Now, be careful because once you do this, you will not be able to use the phone at all until you have gone through the recovery steps. So if you are unable to do that for any reason, you will not be able to use the phone. So. Also, you will need to download software. Uh, TFTPD, uh, listed in the link, will get you um, a TFTP server on your Windows box. And you will also need the appropriate Astra firmware for your phone. This is a 5.7i, so the firmware is known as 5.7i.st. Um, and you need to copy that file into your TFTPD directory. So, for the file you want, I have found that the um, the Hotfix firmware does not appear to work with these phones. Not sure why, couldn't tell you, but uh, the firmware that's worked for me is 3.2.2.2044, the 0312 firmware. Um, same case with the 5.5. For some reason, the most recent firmware does not want to TFTP over. But So you want to download this, and then you want to extract this, and you want to place this in the directory that um, TFTP D will pull the file out of, which by default is program files slash um, tftpd32 or your respective version. Um, in my case, I have changed the default folder to uh, the tftp c tftp directory. So once you're done that, you want to fire up tftpd. Very important, you must run this as administrator. If you do not, you will be unable uh, to save your configurations and it will be unhappy. So to do that, you simply right click on it and then you right click again on TFTPD Run as Administrator. And click OK. Um, so we want to basically clear out, you just want the TFTP server there. Get rid of the HCP, we don't need that. It will complain to you that you need to restart. Then go ahead and do that. Again, run as administrator. All right, so we're going to reboot the phone now into recovery mode. Unplug it, plug it back in again, and hold one and pound. All right, so you'll see over here it's going to flash once, and then it will boot up into the recovery screen and display an IP address. So what we have to do now is, see there it flashes, is um, we need to set the phone and the computer to the same subnet. So see here, we got 192.168.5.12. So what we need to do, first you want to disable your wireless connection or any other connections you have. And you only want to use the local area connection. So right click down here on your little network icon and open network and sharing center. On your local area connection, your LAN plug, you want to go properties. You want to go IPv4, Internet Protocol version 4, and then hit properties on that again. All right, so now you're going to want to set the IP address here. So remember this is 192.168.5.12. So we'll go 192, I'm locked, sorry, 192.168.5.13.
keep it in the same subnet and you can set yourself to the DNS down here it should not make a difference so once you have that set in TFTPD you boot it up uh, since we don't have it plugged in yet it'll just display localhost but once we're all set here you want to plug the phone take the LAN plug out of the back of the phone see here and run a cable straight into the Ethernet port you will not need a crossover cable you will auto cross so once you have done that you should see your little network icon light up and eventually it will display a little uh, yellow triangle which will tell you that you do not have internet which is not a surprise because you're just connected into the phone but what we should see when that happens is that TFTPD will move over to your address that you specified originally so while that's waiting uh, you will type in Google Chrome is the one browser that I found that works with this uh, if you find another one that's great but I know that Chrome works and I know that Firefox has some trouble and I had some trouble with IE and I've had some trouble with Chrome this is a very buggy and strange interface a um, couple things you want to make sure firewall needs to go off temporarily disable your protection firewall and Windows firewall if applicable Windows firewall here turn Windows firewall on or off turn off Turn off. Okay, we'll probably complain at you and yell at you to the end of time, but you want that off. All right. So now you can see we've got the little yellow triangle informing us that we have network but not internet. You can see TFTPD has now displaying the address which we punched in to the IPv4 config for the LAN port. Now we've typed in that address of the phone which we found here in to the address bar of our browser it is now pulled up the recovery page you are now going to punch in here the name of the firmware 57i.st you're going to select TFTP and you're going to plug in your network address 192.168.1.1 Let's check again. It is .5.13. Make sure that it matches to the one in your computer. If you screw it up, it won't work. Once this is all set, hit download firmware. If everything is successful, you will see that a file is being fetched from your TFTP server. The phone will display downloading. And your browser will display downloading firmware. Please wait. Once this is done, your phone is going to hang out for about um, a minute or two and then it will reboot and you will be all set to go you will have a nice cleared config in fact there will be nothing there at all password will be reset to five twos and you should be able to load whatever config in there you want and that is the recovery process for the Astra phones which have been passcode locked in the administrator section so you cannot access um, the config all right.